You can completely change your life, shift your identity, and start living the life of your dreams in 90 days. And I know this because I did it for myself. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I did it and give you the exact practices so you can do it as well. Before we get into this video though, I need you to promise me something. I need you to promise me that you are going to start today. No more putting it off, no more waiting for the right time, no more living in mediocrity. No more living in situations that you're not happy with because you don't feel ready. If you clicked on this video, if you're here watching this, wanting to reinvent yourself, wanting to change your life, then you are ready. It is the right time. There's never going to be a perfect time. Situations, circumstances are never going to be perfect. Stop postponing the quote unquote hard work because you're too weak minded and you want everything to just fall easily into place for you. Things aren't going to start coming easily until you reinvent yourself, until you start putting in the work and embodying all of the qualities of someone who attracts things to them easily. As always, before we get into the video, if you are not yet subscribed, I would greatly, greatly, appreciate if you would subscribe. Give me a preemptive thumbs up because I promise you're going to like this video. Leave me a comment. I love chatting with you guys. I love hearing your feedback, especially if it's positive. That positive feedback really amps me up, gets me going. And now let's get into the video. As a precursor to these practices I'm going to give you, you can't start implementing these unless you know exactly where you want to be. You can't start implementing these unless you can look at your life and you can say, okay, I'm here right now. I hate it here. I do not want to be here. I actually want to be here. So before we get into the steps, you need to do a life audit. You need to set aside some time to write down where you are physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. See where you are in those categories and whatever else you want to work on. See what's not working for you currently and see where you want to be. Then when I give you the steps to getting where you want to be, you can put a plan in place and implement it properly for your situation. We really want to get you into a fulfilled place physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. So you are going to start by doing a life audit. You are going to honestly look at every aspect of your life that you are not happy with and write it down. Take a life audit and then set yourself a deadline. I think that 90 days is an ample amount of time to start implementing new habits into your life and to start breaking down your old habits, to start breaking down the old version of yourself and to start bringing in this new, this 2.0 version of yourself. The studies say that it takes between 18 and 254 days to create a habit, which is a very, very, very wide range. But if you start doing something consistently on a daily basis, chances are it's going to take you a lot shorter than 254 days. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that I'm reading the 5am club. I'm obsessed with that book. Robin Sharma should honestly sponsor me, but he talks about the fact that it takes 22 days to destruct a habit, to destruct the old version of yourself. It takes 22 days to start implementing this new habit into your life. And it takes 22 days to really get it ingrained into your routine. So that is 66 days. Theoretically, it could take you less than 90 days, but in my opinion, 90 days is the perfect timeline for you to use to reinvent yourself, to entirely trash that old version of yourself and bring in that new improved version. Now that we have taken a life audit and set a deadline for ourselves, because if we don't set a deadline, we are going to procrastinate. Humans love to procrastinate, put things off. No, we are not procrastinating. You have put this off for way too fucking long, way too fucking long. It's time. You're at this video. You're watching this video. Clearly, you are ready to make a change. The time is never going to be right. Do it now. Stop procrastinating. Now that I've hopefully talked you into doing it right fucking now, let's get into the tips. I'm going to give these in no particular order because it's important that you start implementing every single one of them. I don't want you to do one one day, one the next day. No, I want you to do every single one of these every single day. First thing, you are going to go ghost. You're going to go ghost and you are going to protect the fuck out of your energy. I let my close friends and family know that I am working on something. I'm working on myself. I'm working on my YouTube channel. I'm working on building my community. I am working right now. I'm in growth mode and as respectfully as possible, love you to death, but I can't be just handing out my energy willy nilly to anybody that needs me at any given time. Of course, there are going to be exceptions. If a friend needs support, if a family member needs support, of course, there's exceptions. I'm not just like off the face of the planet, but I turned off my notifications because I don't want to be a slave to my phone. 
I have talked about this before. You've probably heard this a million times, but when your phone lights up, when the ringer goes off, when it vibrates, that gets your attention. That is like the biggest shiny object that you could possibly be distracted by. And I promise you, even if it doesn't feel like it right now, that's going to keep you in a place where you are unhappy. So I want you to go ghost. I want you to be so selective with your time, your energy, and your attention. I promise you, you are going to be okay not checking your phone every 20 seconds. It actually feels so much better. You almost feel lighter, honestly, not checking it. And your creativity is going to go through the roof because you are focusing all of your time, all of your energy, all of your attention on yourself. And kind of under that same umbrella of focusing all your time, energy, and attention on yourself, of going ghost, I also want you to focus on one thing. Do focused work on one thing. There was way too much time that I wasted stretching my energy across my blog, my podcast, my YouTube channel. I was spreading all of my attention across all of these different platforms. Maybe you're spreading your attention across all of these different friends, all of these different relationships. Me spreading my attention across all of these different platforms led to none of them being done well. Like I have talked about before, it is impossible to multitask. When you try to multitask, chances are both things you're trying to do are going to be done shitty, or you're just gonna end up focusing all of your attention on one anyways. So leave this one behind. And when you focus your energy on too many things at one time, you get so burnt out and so confused and you have no clarity because your brain is just constantly jumping from here to here to here. There is no time for you to actually get into like a flow state. And that is where I want you to get to with whatever it is you're trying to improve in your life. This one is a big one and I feel like a lot of people have an issue with this one because we're so used to immediate gratification, but you need to start delaying your gratification. And this can be for anything. Of course, I'm going to say your phone because usually our gratification comes from our dopamine spike that we get when we go on our phone. But this can also be if you're filming a YouTube video and you're really hungry and you really want a snack, you have to wait until after you finish filming that YouTube video before you allow yourself to have a snack. Next, next, next. For me today, it's a beautiful day out. My tan is fading. I know, I know, I do get tan. I know I'm ginger, but it happens. I would like to go outside. I would like to lay on the beach, get a little bit of a tan. And I was driving home and I was like, oh, I'll go to the beach. And I was like, no, no, I'm gonna delay that gratification because I know that I wanna film this YouTube video. I spent all morning scripting it. I want to film it. Would I rather be laying on the beach right now? Absolutely. But delaying that gratification just makes my willpower so much stronger. You need to make a pact with yourself that you're going to pursue this thing that you want to pursue with no ifs, ands, or buts. No plan B, no fallback, no outs. You have to make this thing work. There's no, oh, I'm going to give YouTube a shot, but if that doesn't work, I'm just going to go back to this job. No, you go all in on the thing that you know is going to change your life for the better. On the thing that you know has been your goal and your dream for years. You go all or nothing. And if you don't go all or nothing, you are not going to change. You've been half-assing your life up until this point. You are now making a conscious decision. You are making a pact with yourself that you will no longer half-ass your life and you are going to fearlessly and relentlessly pursue these dreams and these goals that you have had for years, that you've postponed for years because you know that you're capable of it. And even if you don't think you're capable of it, fake it till you make it. The more you do it and the deeper you get into it, the more confident you're going to feel. But you're never going to feel confident in it if you always think that you have a plan B. If always in the back of your head, there's this voice that says, well, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna do this. If you have that voice, then the thing that you're trying to do is never going to work. Speaking of that voice, you need to learn how to make that voice shut up. You need to learn how to talk yourself out of self-doubt, limiting beliefs, that negative internal dialogue, that scarcity mindset that you have had for your entire life. Whenever any of that comes up and tries to deter you from following these dreams and these goals that you know that you need to follow, whenever any of that comes up and tries to stop you from becoming this 2.0 version of yourself, you are going to speak out loud to yourself. Yes, out loud to yourself not speak in your head, you are going to say out loud, I am unstoppable. I am relentless. I am going to prove to myself that everything that I'm doing is worthwhile. I am becoming the best version of myself. I am living a life true to my visions. I'm abundant. Opportunities flow to me endlessly. You are going to give yourself all of the affirmations, whatever works for you, whatever is appropriate to your situation. You are going to constantly and relentlessly 
speak those affirmations out loud because those limiting beliefs, those doubts, those fears, those insecurities, all of that bullshit that's in your head that has been living in your head rent free for your entire life is so fucking loud. It's so loud and it is not easy to combat that. And that is where a lot of people fail. A lot of people give up because they can't deal with it, but not you. You are going to be so conscious and so aware of when that comes up and you are going to go to war with yourself. Just imagine that every positive affirmation that you speak out loud to yourself is just stomping all of that negativity down and making it smaller and smaller. The last thing I need you to do is I need you to put yourself into uncomfortable situations. I need you to voluntarily make yourself uncomfortable. This can look however you want. This is going to be so different on a case-by-case basis. This can look like going to the gym and pushing yourself past the rep that you thought you were going to fail at. It can be going up to the gym and going on the Stairmaster and going three levels above where you thought your threshold was and committing to doing that for a minute. It can be going for a walk, listening to a great playlist and not being afraid to move your body, not being afraid that people are gonna look at you and think that you're a weirdo. When I see people who are doing things that makes it look like they're loving their lives, it makes me so happy. And if it makes somebody unhappy, then they hate their lives and all you need to do is pray for them. It can be cold plunging. Cold plunging is a huge one or taking cold showers. It can be going up to somebody that you think is attractive and starting a conversation with them. It can look like so many things, but voluntarily put yourself into uncomfortable situations so that you build up that confidence, so that you realize you are a lot more capable than you ever gave yourself credit for. And on that same note of uncomfortable situations, you also need to build up your discipline like crazy. I'm on day 63 of 75 hard, and it's no longer hard because I have built up so much discipline because of it. And truthfully, 75 hard doesn't even require you to do that much. In my opinion, it's really not building intense amounts of discipline. It's kind of getting you like a foundation of discipline. What's given me a lot of discipline And again, Robin Sharma, sponsor me, is the 5 a.m. club. I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every morning, even on the mornings when I really don't want to. I wake up at 5 a.m., I come out here, I pray, I visualize, I delay my coffee until I'm done praying and visualizing. I read my book, I go and I watch the sunrise, and then I get my day started. That is a non-negotiable. I do that every single morning. But me from three, four months ago would not have done that. I would not have been able to rip myself out of bed at five o'clock in the morning, especially just to come out to my living room and do my daily practices. Building massive amounts of discipline will change your life. And I think the best way you can do that is by waking up early, is by saying, no matter what time I went to bed, no matter how shitty my sleep is, I'm going to wake up at this time and this is what I'm going to do. It is a non-negotiable, nothing gets in the way of that habit. And you do that every single day. And I'm going to leave you with this. If it wasn't hard initially, it wouldn't be real and valuable change. And you guessed it, that's from the 5am club. (laughs) Honestly, that book is so good. If you have not read that book, I'm going to link it in the description, affiliate link. Thank you. It is so good. That is all I have for you today. I would love to hear a little bit about your life audit, a little bit about where you want to be. And If you want a group of people that will hold you accountable, I did start a community. It's called Thrive Academy. There's not a ton of people on there right now, but the whole goal of it is to create a community of like-minded individuals who are all working to become the best version of themselves. So if that sounds like something you would like to be a part of, I will link that in the description as well. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe to the channel. I think it'll be there, maybe there, I don't know. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys want to work on. And I will talk to you guys soon.